Sam Altman ousted as CEO of OpenAI. This is a crazy story, y'all. It is breaking in real time. By the time I post this, there may be more news, but I have been closely tracking OpenAI and Sam Altman. And so I wanted to just give a quick breakdown here for folks. What is the timeline? What do we know so far? What is the current speculation around what is going on? My name is Carly Riley. Let's dive in. All right. So first, 3.30 p.m. or so today, Eastern Time, the OpenAI board announces that Sam is out. Specifically, most notably, they said this, quote, Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board no longer has confidence in his ability to continue leading open AI. So this was a wild statement. I mean, first of all, it was shocking to people that Sam was leading open AI. He is one of the co-founders of open AI. He has become really synonymous with open AI. He was speaking publicly as a representative of open AI as recently as yesterday. And I know folks were talking to him this morning. So that was itself a, a shock. But then you have this language where they're saying the, the board no longer has confidence in his ability to continue leading OpenAI and that he was not consistently candid. These are pretty strong statements when you consider that typically, even if there's an acrimonious split between a board and a, and a founder or a board and a CEO, the language is often you know, mutual agreement to part ways. The CEO wants to go on to other things. They usually couch it in much more coddly language. This is not coddly at all. I mean, for, for corporate speak, this is quite harsh. So that really struck people as well. Of course, immediately the rumor mills start flying. We're going to talk about that in a minute. They announced that Mira Marathi, who has been the CTO of OpenAI, will take over as interim CEO and that they are in the process of looking for a full-time CEO. They also announced that Greg Brockman, who is a member of the board, would be stepping down from the board, but would remain, would stay on as president of uh, OpenAI and report to Mira Marathi. Now, what is interesting about this is that was what initially got announced. And then some number of hours later, we got an update to that, which we will talk about in just a moment. Okay. Sam himself tweets somewhat shortly after this announcement. He says, I loved my time at OpenAI. It was transformative for me personally and hopefully the world a little bit. But most of all, I loved working with such talented people. We'll have more to say about what's next later. So again, rumors are swirling. Initially, there are some pretty hor horrendous rumors around maybe there was something personal that was discovered. His sister has been alleging abuse by Sam for a number of years. I actually went to college with her, interestingly. And those are, I should say, unfounded. Those are allegations. We don't know about that, but that started to swirl pretty immediately after this news. And then second, of course, you have, you have speculation that this is a business dispute. And we're going to talk about more about that because that does seem to be the way that things are shaking out here. So at around 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight, Greg Brockman, who had been announced as the board member who was stepping down from the board but would stay on as president, he retweets Sam's tweet and then adds his own. And he says this, he says, quote, after learning today's news, this is the message I sent to the open AI team. And he said, hi, everyone. I'm super proud of what we've all built together since starting in my apartment eight years ago. We've been through tough and great times together, accomplishing so much despite all the reasons it should have been impossible. But based on today's news, I quit. Genuinely wishing you all nothing but the best. I continue to believe in the mission of creating safe AGI that benefits all of humanity. So this was a pretty unequivocal middle finger fuck you to the board and a pretty unequivocal I stand with Sam message. Again, based on today's news, I quit. Uh, now it's being reported by Kara Swisher that there's going to be a wave of other quitters probably following tonight and, and very soon. And on the basis of that, and, and these, it, it really does seem like this is fundamentally a business dispute that was going on between Sam and the board. So here are the leading theories as to what's going on. One theory is that there were security issues with a product that they announced at their developer day, which was just a few days ago, and that this was a this was a rushed product that had the security issue. Microsoft, who's one of their big partners and funders, found out about that. And that fundamentally the board felt or some version of Sam was rushing out products too quickly and there were security failings and privacy issues. And so that was the issue. But the the theory that's really emerging as the leader, both from folks I've been hearing from and then Kara Swisher has been reporting on this, and that is that fundamentally there was a, quote, misalignment of the profit versus nonprofit adherence at the company. The developer day was an issue. 
So this has been long a feature of public debate, frankly, about OpenAI, which is, as the name suggests, the company started out as a nonprofit, open source, supposed to be like a public good company building and working on AI in the public interest. And that over time, it has become increasingly closed, not entirely open sourced. And it has become this very strange nonprofit, for-profit hybrid where it's definitely a for-profit, but it's capped on the amount of returns it can generate. Like it, it, it's kind of a strange beast in the world of corporate entities. And so that seems to be emerging as what the core issue is here. Now, what's very interesting is it's not entirely clear it's not entirely clear to me who's on which side of this. I mean, Sam himself has certainly gotten flack for being the CEO over this process of it becoming much more closed. And yet Sam was also one of the early founders who was a stalwart of this early mission, along with Elon Musk and Greg Brockman and, and other folks. And so I'm not sure that we can make a determination one way or another who was the board on the more for-profit side or was Sam on the more for-profit side assuming that is in fact what's at the heart of this conflict. In any case, there will obviously be much more to be revealed over the next probably several hours, but certainly the next several days. Kara Swisher again reporting that she thinks Sam may make a statement as early as tonight. I unfortunately have plans tonight, y'all. I've got a friend's birthday party that I am already late to and that I have committed to, but if things get sufficiently interesting, I may hop back on here tomorrow. Again, this is a bit of an experiment for me. I, I haven't reported on breaking stories, so we'll see how this goes. If you enjoyed this, please do let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, like, but, but specifically, I'm interested if you guys like getting this kind of breaking news coverage, despite the fact that, like I say, it's an emerging story and some of this might be outdated or there may be updates to this by the time this actually goes out. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if I don't come back on here this weekend, I'll see you on Monday.